Hello artists. This is Mrs. Kerber. I know my face isn't there, but um, I didn't want to put, I didn't want to block any of the pictures that we're going to be looking at today because there's a lot of them. We're going to talk about the three different styles of art. Now, truly, every type of art any artwork that you see can fall into one of these three categories. Each piece of art is either realistic or abstract or non-objective. So let's look at all three of these. The first one we're going to talk about is realistic because this is the easiest one to understand and remember. Realistic art means it looks real. It's got the word in it. This is a painting right here but it obviously looks very real. But what you need to understand about realistic art is that it doesn't have to be that perfect. Here are some other examples. This is a painting as well. You can see Olaf here, and that's probably meant to be a young Anna and Elsa, but it looks real. Okay, it's not entirely real because we don't see snowflakes this big, but it looks pretty real. This is a picture of a little, um, like, I don't know, baby cheetah, maybe? Super cute. Not real in the sense of color. But we know that things don't have to be colored to look real. If this were a picture taken with black and white film or a filter added to that made it look black and white, it would look real. Same thing with these flowers. Yes, they're hand drawn and these are hand painted, but they look real. You can imagine real flowers in a real vase like that. That is realistic art. The next category is called abstract art. Now this, sometimes anybody or everybody considers anything that's not realistic is abstract, but we like to separate it a little bit more. Our definition for abstract is art that you can tell what it is, you can recognize something in it, but it doesn't look real. In this case, you can tell that's a bear, but obviously it doesn't look like a real bear. This is not a photograph and there's no mistaking it, but you can tell it's a bear. Therefore, that makes it abstract. Here's some more examples. All three of these paintings, you can tell what they are, but they don't look real. I've never seen someone with a purple hand or a purple skin or purple lips or purple eyes. I have seen someone with purple hair. But you can certainly tell what it is. Same thing with this. You can tell it's a human, but it's not realistic. Not at all. First of all, the body just kind of fades off into the corner. Second of all, no one's got that many different colors of skin. Hair, again, easy to change. Somebody could have striped hair, but it doesn't grow up like that. And then this is a painting of a city, specifically of Paris, because there's the Eiffel Tower. You know it's a city, but, you know, the colors aren't real. The sky isn't yellow over Paris. So that is abstract art, art that you can tell what it is. You can tell what it's a picture of, but it doesn't really look real. The last category is called non-objective. This word also tells you what it is because look, no object. Non-objective art is not a picture of something. I can't look at this and say, oh, that's a really nice portrait, or, oh, that's a great picture of my house. No. It's shapes, it's lines, it's color. Now, personally, I love non-objective art. I think it's beautiful. If we look at some examples here, I mean, this is a cool piece of art with paint dripping down, running down. I love how colorful it is. That was probably made with by pulling strings maybe, or maybe even just dripping things down. But it's not a picture of something. This one too, it doesn't have to just be about color. This one's all black and white. And it's cool. The shading is great. But it's not a picture of something. Maybe it reminds you of something, 
this kind of reminds me of like a marker or a pencil or something. But it's not a picture of something. Same thing with these. Now, I almost always get someone who raises their hands and say, that's a picture of something. It's a picture of triangles. And triangles aren't an object. Triangles are a shape. Non-objective art does have lines and colors and shapes. For sure, repetition, it repeats things over and over. But it's not a picture of something. So I want you to remember these three styles because every piece of art is one of them. It is either realistic or abstract or non-objective.